How's it going everybody? Lucian Dev here bringing you yet another tutorial video. Today's video we're going to be going over Craftopia. This time we're going to be doing it on Linux. One thing I do want to say before we get started, if you are running the 64-bit version, you will need to go ahead and install Multiverse. Uh, all the dependencies and everything that you're going to need for the Multiverse it'll be, will be right here. After you do all that, go ahead and run this command right here for it to install SteamCD. So let's go ahead and SSH into our box. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that you already have all the prerequisites installed, whether if you're running 64-bit with the multiverse and you have Steam CMD already installed. So we're going to go from that point there. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to do sudo add user, and we'll call it whatever we want. I'm just going to call mine Craftopia. Enter, fill out the sudo password, and then we're going to do the password for the user. And confirm that password for the user. Just gonna hit enter on all that stuff. Why? All right. Now we're going to switch that user by doing su and then that username and then the password for that user. All right. Now that we're in here, we're gonna clear all that out so we leave it not so messy. All right. Now we're going to make a directory. So we'll do mkdir and then we'll just call it server. For my case, you can call yours whatever you want. Then we're going to cd into that. Then we're going to do a pwd to print the working directory. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. We are going to need it. All right, then I'm going to run steamcmd. If it is your first time running it like this right here, it will initialize. Just give it a few minutes. All right, now that's done, we are going to do force underscore install underscore dr for directory. I'm going to space, I'm going to paste in that line. I'm going to add in the trailing slash there. I'm going to hit enter. Then we're going to log in as anonymous. All right, then we're going to do app underscore update. Then the app ID, in our case, that is one six seven zero three four zero. We're going to hit enter. And we're going to wait for that to download. This will vary depending on your internet speed, so you might have to wait a few minutes. All right, now that that is installed, we can go ahead and type an exit to close out SteamCMD. And if we do an ls right now, you can see we have the files for the server. However, we don't have any server settings. We're going to have to run the server one time initially to go ahead and generate the files for us. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do screen minus capital S, and I'll just call this server, call it whatever you want. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter, and then we're going to do dot forward slash craft dot x 86 underscore 64 because I am running a 64 bit version. Then we're going to go ahead and hit enter. All right, so once we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and kill this screen. So we're going to do control A and then K. It's going to ask us if we really want to kill it. We're just going to hit Y for yes. And if we hit LS, so you can see that we have a server settings and default server settings I and I. What we're going to do is we're going to edit the server settings. So we're going to use nano. Feel free to use whatever editor you like. For vim, go ahead and use vim. I prefer nano, so this is what we're going to use. Then down here is all your server settings. So server name, make it whatever you want. Lucian server. All right, just to change something. Then right here we got the port number. We're going to use that uh, later. And Go ahead and feel free to look through all the rest of the settings and change it to however you want. Once your settings are done and configured that you want, we're going to do Control X, and then the Y, and Enter. And then we're going to go ahead and do a new screen. And once we're inside the screen, if I could spell it correctly. There we go. We're going to go ahead and run that server again. And then this will have all the new settings. In order to um, move forward here, we're going to go ahead and detach from the screen. So we're going to do Control A and then D to detach that screen. Let's go all that out so it's not so messy. All right. So now what you're going to want to do, uh, by default, if you're using a, uh, a server that you're hosting yourself, 
Uh, you're not paying, you're not renting a, a Linux machine if you're actually hosting it yourself. Your firewall is going to be disabled by default. So we're going to want to enable it. If you want to connect to your server outside of your local host, you're going to want to open up port 22. So before we uh, actually enable it, we're going to go ahead and allow port 22. So you do have to do this as a sudo. So my Craftopia user here is not a sudo -er, So I'm going to log back into my sudo account. All right, and then I'm going to do sudo ufw allow, if I can spell that right, allow 22. Then we're going to do sudo ufw again. I don't know why I keep hitting E. Uh, enable. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit Y. And then that's done. So if we clear all that, and if I do sudo ufw status, I'll hit E again. All right, so a little uh, correction here since I messed up. You only need the UDP port open, so we're going to do sudo ufw allow 6587. Then we're going to do slash UDP because we only need allowed on the UDP. All right, so that's added. So now if we do sudo ufw status, and our ports open up right here. And that's it. <clears throat> Crafts OP is done. You can go ahead and play. And that's it, guys. Uh, you can go ahead and connect to your server. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. I appreciate you guys being here. And I'll see you in the next one.